Toxtricity or Heliolix? Heliolisk, who you got? Um, that's tough, Rob. You know that I love Heliolisk. Toxtricity or Heliolisk? That's Sophie's choice right there. Come on. Uh, both are probably great in draft. I haven't used Heliolisk yet in, in a VGC video. Really quick. Uh, Whimsicott, Dragapult, Gyarados, Stonejourner. Love seeing Stonejourner. Dracozolt and the Sylveon. So, Excadrill feels like it needs to come to this, right? I think so. I think so. Um. Uh, they don't have a ground type. So, Toxtricity and Whimsicott are still always going to be the leads. They can bring Excadrill, sure. And I think just because of the Drake result, I don't want to bring Jellison and I don't want to bring Togekiss. Uh, that being said, like... I don't want to bring... <laughs> the, the Gyarados is also scary. So... I actually am going to bring... Togekiss. Just for the redirection purposes. Just for redirection purposes. Um... Rob, I think, in a draft league, I still think that Heliolisk is one of the best Pokemon you can pick. Especially because it's still tiered so low. So, if you're asking me draft, I'm going Heliolisk. If you're asking me VGC, I'm going GMAX Toxtricity. Can I say that and not get in trouble? Is the internet going to cancel me now? It's possible. Okay. Dragapult, Whimsicott. Cool, bro. Um, we can Dynamax. I want to Dynamax and go for a Stun Shock into the... Um... Yeah, into the Dragapult. I think it's going to Dynamax anyway, but we have to match their Tailwind. If we can. Max Heliolisk stream. Oh, and you threw in the emoji thunderbolt. You've been picking up on my emoji titles. That's what I like. I like viewers who are attentive. We Dynamax, so they're actually not going to Dynamax the Dragon Ball, uh, which makes me happy because it means that we have a chance of doing some real damage to this Dragon Ball here. Uh, we get our Tailwind off. Look at that nice shiny Whimsicott too, by the way. Let's not forget about that guy. They're going to get their Tailwind off, which is fine. Uh, they get to use Flamethrower into our Whimsicott. Pop us down to our Sash, which is okay. Uh, depending on what... Oh, they got the burn! That's actually such a big deal. I was going to say, depending on what our um, statuses we get here, I would love to try and go for a uh, fake tears into the Whimsicott on this next one. Okay, that's okay. That's actually best case scenario. Because now what we can do is we can go out into when when our Whimsicott dies here to burn. Well, let's use it like a blessing. We get a free switch here. Um, we can't go for the... We can go into Togekiss here, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Um, and we can go for the... Uh, Look at this. We can go for Max Ooze into the um, Whimsicott, actually. Uh, and we can go for a Dazzling Gleam as well. And now we're going to be sitting at a plus one Togekiss and a plus one Toxtricity if it all goes according to plan. They're going for Moonblast right into Togekiss. Uh, that's not going to do as much as they want it to. We get the Dazzling Gleam off. That is going to kill the Dragapult, amazing, and then the Max Ooze is definitely going to take out the Whimsicott. And then we still have one more turn of Dynamax when they come in to their next two Pokemon, and they're going to go for Dynamax. God, I love that electric guitar. I don't know about you guys, but it's just literally electric guitar. And uh, that is wild. That is wild. Okay. Come on. Come on, what else did you bring? Give me that Gyarados, by the way. Give me the Gyarados. Stone Journer. Ooh, it's shiny Stone Journer. He's black. And there's the Gyarados. 
Okay, we only have one option here, and that option is to um, follow me with uh, Togekiss. Even though I'd love to see Togekiss hang around, it might still hang around. But uh, in case the um, the Gyarados could be faster than us, and if it's faster than us, it's probably going to Dynamax, and if it Dynamaxes and it's faster than us, and it attacks Toxtricity, I'll be really upset. Catch my drift. Uh, so we have to redirect with Mac or with uh, Follow Me, and then we can take out this Toxtri or this. Uh, oh my God! I'm just mixing up all my Pokemon now. We can take out the Gyarados with our Toxtricity. They're gonna protect with their Stone Journer. I wasn't gonna go for you, buddy. I think you're really pretty. Oh, they're gonna double Max Guard. That was smart. That was smart. Um, I still think we have a good shot at Okoing the Gyarados, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it has the berry, and that changes things only a tiny, tiny bit. Um, let's overdrive, and let's still follow me. Nothing changes. The only thing that changes is we're smaller now, and we can target both players. They're gonna wide guard! Wow! We can't use overdrive, that's what that means. Um, dang. I mean, I hope that they kill Togekiss here. Well, they can't go for wide guard twice in a row, right? Ooh, sorry. Yikes. Wow, okay, so they actually get a plus one boost here now. They are gonna win this battle. Watch, watch, this is a really good strategy on their team, on their, on their part. Both of our tailwinds peter out. No, they were Intimidate. Sorry, I'm like, I just moved my entire computer by leaning too far forward. Oh, wow, we are not Incineroar. I thought we were Incineroar. That is the worst news I've ever heard in my life. Okay. Uh, I thought we were going to be able to fake out the, uh, mm, the Stone Journal. We are not. Okay. But what we might be able to do is... If they're coming after Stone Journal, which they might be, or if they're coming after Toxtricity, which they might be, we might be able to go after Stone Journal. Go for a Protect on this turn. and go for a, oh man, it's not gonna be enough. It's just really not gonna be enough. High horsepower Stone Journer? No. Oh man, I think we have to try to overdrive. I don't remember if they can double wide guard, but let's try and high horsepower the Stone Journer. Dang, I think they got us with that play. They double wide guard. Can you wide guard as many times in a row as you want? Or was that really lucky that they got that twice? I mean, protecting there wouldn't have helped us anyway. Can you double, can you double my guard in a row? I'm knocking all my stuff over. Hmm. Hmm. No, I think you can wide guard as much as you want. So, a good lesson, perhaps, to Sludge Bomb instead. Had we Sludge Bomb both of those times and predicted the wide guard on the first play? Uh, well, no, they still would have just gone for a... They just would have retargeted. They would have switched over to Toxtricity and targeted that. Okay. It wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered in the end. That was a great play. Hey. Stone Journer coming up big, coming up big. Wow, and they had that curry background. That means they did they make a lot of curry. Um, good for them. Wow, they have a lot of time on their hands, perhaps. Simeo, you think? Are you you're sure about that? I don't know. I think that it can be used in succession over and over and over again. Hold on, let's uh, let's research this before we move on. As of X and Y, the guard moves can be used consecutively without risking failure at any time. Uh, they do decrease the chance of the protect moves working. So, you can use wide guard and quick guard over and over and over again 
Um, but you can't use wide guard and then protect and then wide guard and protect. You, but you, you can use wide guard and quick guard as many times as you want in a row. Um, interesting. Interesting. Good to know. I haven't seen wide guard used since, uh, yeah, since X and Y days, really, back when Aegislash used to use it a lot. Good strats regardless. Good game. Good game. Uh, Incineroar. Tyranitar. Durant. Uh, Dracovish. Sylveon. And Whimsicott. Okay. Okay. They don't have a ground type. You know what that means. Toxtricity. Whimsicott. Lead. I love that lead so much. It's so fun. Uh, they also don't have a competitive user. Or a defiant user, so Incineroar loves this matchup. And because of Draco Vish, I want to bring either Togekiss or Jellicent. Togekiss is nice because it has Heat Wave for the Durant if needed. It's also super effective against Tyranitar. But Jellicent can burn stuff and is super specially defensive for the Sylveon. So I think I have to go Jellicent, actually. And we already have Fake Out. So I can maybe Fake Out Burn maybe later on. It's all good, Al. I know you're uh, I know you're currently in two streams. I know you're you're splitting your time between me and your freaking girlfriend, dude. You know how I know? Because I'm watching her on this screen right here. I got three screens running right now. I'm working from home for the next two weeks, and I brought my monitor home. So I'm literally looking at a TV. I'm looking at a computer, and I got your girlfriend right here on this monitor, okay? Now, is she muted? Yes. Uh, trying to save your broadband? Oh, because she's streaming? Word. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, we have to go for a stun shock into Durant here. It's probably going to Dynamax. It always does. It always does. Uh, and we have to try to Tailwind. Honestly, I'm going to go for Fake Tears into Durant instead. Just on the off chance that Incineroar does something weird. I don't need... Um, I'd rather have... Because of the Air Balloon, they can't kill Toxtricity on this turn. And I'd rather have the kill on the Durant than a Tailwind. Makes sense? You're going back and forth, Al? Well, I appreciate it. Just keep in mind, um, you see her every day. You see Eden every day, and you live across the country, and, uh... Well, I'm your best friend. I was the best man at your wedding. And, uh... I know it hasn't happened yet, but... I gotta be in the running for best man. If I'm not your best man. I know you have a brother. I know you have... Friends that you've known for much longer than you've known me, but... Uh... You're probably not even watching anymore. You probably switch back over to Eden. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, go follow Edbot on Twitch. She streams uh, Dark Souls and Overwatch, and we're gonna stream Animal Crossing together when it comes out on Friday. And Sonora does go for Fake Out into Whimsicott. Um, they're gonna have the Rock fall off into. Boom. Okay, Toxtricity. Now this is interesting because if we get a Para on the Durant, that's huge. That's huge. And we have a 50-50 chance of doing so. Hit him with the guitar. Smack him hard. Please get the Para. Actually, it's not going to matter because we can Tailwind on this turn no matter what. We do get the Para though. So that actually gives us some, some power here. We can do a couple of things. Um, we could Tailwind, sure. And that's probably the best play, sure. Take out the Durant. Before the Durant takes out Toxtricity. But I can't max Ooze, which is a shame. But I can max strike. So let's go for the max strike into Durant, actually. 
And let's just get our tailwind up. Uh, for who's in the back? Our our uh, incineroar in the back. Just because I want to be faster than that uh, Dracovish, no matter what. Take out the Durant there. Lower their Incineroar's speed, so now our Incineroar will definitely be faster than it. Although I doubt that their Incineroar is jolly like ours is. Uh, and there's the Flare Blitz into the Whimsicott. Okay. So I'm glad that I got up the uh, Tailwind then. Oh, I'm silly. We Tailwinded, so our Incineroar was going to be faster regardless, but... I'm still glad that we had it. Can't be too safe. Can't be too safe out there. Um, and now we get one more stun strike off. If we want it. Do we want it? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get Incineroar to ensure that happens. And depending on who they bring in here, we might actually be able to double up into that Pokemon, whatever Pokemon it, it may be. Hmm. 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 Okay, it's their T-Tar, great. So I'm glad I got the Intimidate off on it, and I'm really glad that I'm gonna get to hit this with the Stun Shock now. Um, definitely definitely really glad that I'll get to stun shock this. The question is, what do you want to do with uh, Incineroar? Hmm. We might actually be able to... No, we probably want to fake out, right? Fake out what, though? I'm actually going to try and fake out... No, let's fake out Incineroar. Because Incineroar now is going to get fake out, Sandstorm, and poison damage. Tyranitar is going to protect, but that's okay. So I'm really glad I didn't fake out the Tyranitar, though. We're still gonna get the stun shock off, which is great. Because we're so much faster because of Tailwind, I'd rather this be poison, I think. Although, really, I'm never gonna deny the uh, the helpfulness of a <laughs> uh, of a paralysis. Yeah, so let's see how much uh, chip damage there Incineroar takes here. Doesn't like that sand. And these two are definitely not going to like this poison either. Poison just looks like it does so much, because it does way more than, than sand does. Wow! Okay. Ooh, it knocked him into berry range, though. Okay. Okay, that makes things a little interesting. I'm a little interested. We can actually protect here with Toxtricity if we want to. Still another turn of Tailwind after that. We can protect with Toxtricity. I think I want to do that, because I think they're going to go for a Flare Blitz with their Incineroar. Uh, and we can Parting Shot into their Tyranitar. Uh, if I had to guess, it's going to be Rock Slide from T-Tar, and it's going to be Flare Blitz into our... Oh no, they switched out. To their Whimsicott. They're going to try and get a Tailwind up. Those sons of the guns. Uh, we are Jolly, so we're going to outspeed their uh, T-Tar, which is nice, because now their T-Tar is at minus two attack. Definitely what you want to see. And we can go right into Jellicent. They go for the EQ. Um, and it's just simply not going to be enough do anything worthwhile to Jellicent. Now the question becomes, do they go for another Earthquake here with Titar, or do they have to try and switch out? Uh, I have to assume the Whimsicott's going for a Tailwind, so we should probably Sludge Bomb into the Whimsicott. Um, and we should probably Will-O-Wisp into... No, we can't Will-O-Wisp Titar. What am I talking about? We can Strength Sap Titar, though. Because regardless, if even if the Incineroar wants to come in there, we can take that thing down one notch, and then our Incineroar can come in and knock it down another attack drop. 
with another attack drop. Gosh, talking is so hard while you're trying to explain Pokemon. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Hey, thanks for all the likes, everybody, on this video. If you haven't liked yet, go ahead, drop a like, and then look out for the, uh, the subsequent... Oh, wow! Whimsicott tried to pull a fast one and maybe go for an energy ball or something. Keytar gets the Earthquake off. It'll probably kill... It's going to kill Toxtricity regardless of its uh, attack drops. But now, their T-Tar is going to be sitting there at minus three attack, thanks to this Strength Sap. And they can't switch out anymore, so T-Tar is officially uh, not a problem. There's, oh, the Sandstorm subsides, so T-Tar's uh, special defense is no longer boosted by Sand. Our Tailwind peters out, but our Incineroar comes in. T-Tar's at minus four attack. Their Incineroar is going to be at minus four attack. Or, minus four attack. Minus one attack. Our Incineroar is going to be at minus one attack, but our Incineroar is going to be faster than theirs because our Incineroar is jolly max speed. Meaning, we can go for a... Um, a fake out into their Incineroar. Here. Stop them from using Darkest Lariat or some dark move into our Jellicent. Rack up some more poison damage while our Jellicent just goes for a Muddy Water. Uh, this Jellicent is actually not Cursed Body. Cursed Body and Water Absorber are both really good abilities. Uh, this one I just happened to switch out last second with another one that I had. The other one I didn't realize wasn't born in Galar. It was born in Alola. It was a shiny one that I got from home and I was excited to use. That one was Cursed Body. This one's Water Absorb. Oh, theirs went first. So they're also Max Speed Jolly. That's crazy to me. Unless, did they get Tailwind off on their turn? Our Jellicent flinched. Do they have a berry? God. Wait, did they did they get their Tailwind up? Did I, did I not see that go up? They do have a Tailwind up. Okay. Foolish. Foolish of me. Um, now I think the play... Gosh, I wish I could just protect Jellicent. But I can't. Um, I think I have to Flare Blitz into their Incineroar, maybe? And try a Muddy Water. They could go for a Darkest Lariat, and I'm nervous about that, into our Jellicent, but we kind of just have to rock with it. And hopefully we don't get any flinches from this Rock Slide. That would be such a bummer. Look how much that's still doing. Even though it's at minus four attack, it's still doing so much to Incineroar. There's the Darkest Lariat. Oh, wow. Okay. We lived that really well. We'll live another one after the Citrus Berry. It's going to depend on whether or not we get flinched here. If Jellicent got Shadow Tag, it would be the best Pokemon in the game. I'm convinced. Shadow Tag is such a nasty ability. We still get the Muddy Water off. The Muddy Water. We do get the mudder, mudder water. We get the muddy water off. It's going to be the end of the game. Thank you, Jellicent. Pulling out the victory. Um, well done. Well done, buddy. Jellicent. Same Jellicent that I used in my Maractus video. If you didn't watch me try to win with Maractus, those videos are on my channel. You can check it out if you want to. Like, comment, subscribe. Throw that in there. Why not? Next battle. Ooh, this is going to be my first time battling a GMS Colossal on stream. Uh, Pelipper, ooh, this is Aaron Zhang's team, isn't it? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. That's a crazy team. I'm not going to go through all of them. You can see all the crazy Pokemon there. Um, okay, well... We do just have to, we have to be careful about the, uh, the Raichu, but I don't mind it. And because of all the water Pokemon, I want to go Jellicent, actually. And I think, um, hmm. Weird. I either want to go Togekiss or Excadrill here. 
Ash control maybe for the Hatterene and for, it could be G-Max Hatterene too. Dear Lord, that's scary. Um. No, let's go extra drill. When I was playing with my G-Max Colossal, I didn't want to see Ash control, so I don't want them to see. We can actually not Dynamax here if we wanted to and just go for an Overdrive. Try and clack the... We would boost the special attack on the Raichu, but... we The Fake Out wouldn't matter into the Whimsicott, at least. And then we could Fake Tears into the Blastoise. So we'll either get a Fake Tears into Blastoise, or we'll get an Overdrive off. Fake Out into Whimsicott. Fair enough. Yep, pop the lightning rod, that's okay. Uh, nice. See how much they did on Blaster as well. And they're not even gonna kill our Whimsicott there. Okay. So now what we can actually do is Boom Burst. If they really want to get crazy. Or we can Dynamax, uh, Max Ooze into Blastoise, and. Tailwind. That's what I want to do, really. Get a special attack boost. On our Toxtricity so that we can take out the Raichu on the next turn with Max Strike or Max Ooze. Just depending. I might even be able to... I might be thinking too far ahead, but I could potentially go into... Um, Blastoise protected. Ooh, I wonder how much this, this is going to do. Ignoring the protect. Uh, how much will Max Ooze do? Man, it's not going to kill. Not at all. Wow. Wow. What's a Raichu do, though? Thunderbolt into Whimsicott. Not every day you go for a Thunderbolt into Whimsicott, but it did work. It did work. So I think I can go Jellicent here and then switch into Excadrill. Or I could go Excadrill and switch into Jellicent. I might want to do that, actually. If I go Excadrill... No. I think I'd rather go Jellicent. Uh, uh, kill the Blastoise with a Max Ooze. But switch into... Mm, maybe that was the wrong play. They're both cheeky either way. Now I can go into Excadrill uh, for when they went into their... They went for, you know, Volt Switch or Thunderbolt into Jellicent. The alternate play there was to go Excadrill, target the Raichu, uh, let Blastoise go for a water move potentially into Jellicent, but Blastoise could have gone for Shell Smash there, honestly, and then that wouldn't have been good. Oh, who'd they switch into? Colossal. Wow, so I actually really love that Excadrill's out here now. And we have a Tailwind, baby. And our Excadrill sitting at plus one special attack, which is matters very little. Thunderbolt right into our Excadrill. Okay, so that worked out really well then. Um, and now we can max strike Raichu. Definitely make it slower than our 
Excadrill, and high, we get high horsepower of the Colossal. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that tongue. Nah. So creepy. Toxtricity is so cool, man. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Toxtricity is so cool. Here comes Blastoise. About to eat this max strike. Here comes G-Max Colossal. Unfortunately for G-Max Colossal, it's just not going to get a move off. I wonder if the um, Blastoise has Aqua Jet. That was, a, that was a strategy that I was looking at when I was making my G-Max Colossal team. It was getting faked out a lot, so I didn't end up running Aqua Jet. Uh, oh, it Max Guarded. That was smart. That was smart, because now they can go Raichu on this turn. Hmm. Well, they're at minus one speed, though. So, like, does Excadrill under Tailwind still outspeed a minus one Colossal? No. Uh. Well. Okay. What happens here? Passimian comes out. Passimian does not get rejected. Or does not get fake out. It does get protected. Uh, okay, so we should overdrive. And still high horsepower. Does Pessimian get like ally switch or something crazy? Nope. By Colossal. Amazing. Sayonara. And uh, overdrive is going to do a lot to this Pessimian right now. We're sitting at plus two special attack, targeting down one Pokemon. Yes, sir. Passing me in close combat. That was your focus on the wrong Pokemon, sir. I wasn't scared about Raichu coming in at all there. I didn't even think about it. I was so... So averse to it. And now it's fun because um, we can use... Jellicent comes in. We get faked out by Raichu. So maybe we should be a little nervous about that. Huh. Actually... Hmm... Toxtricity needs to protect here, actually. Which is wild, but it does. It just does. And... We have to try to kill the Passimian. Dang. I can't get faked out. Oh, wow. Okay. If they went right for a Thunderbolt into Jellicent, then that was an amazing play. They didn't. Okay, great. They could have gone for Thunderbolt right into Jealous and predicting our protect. They went for a knockoff instead. I'm okay with that. Muddy Water. Double connect, so we're gonna kill the Pessimian. Wow, okay. That could have been really They could have Thunderbolted into Jellicent. Um and on our protect they could have knocked out and Thunderbolted kill the Jellicent and then Toxtricity. Uh Toxtricity still probably would have won. Unless the um, the Passimian had Earthquake. Uh, and now we can Boom Burst, which is so fun! Because Jellison doesn't care about that. Hex. There's the Thunderbolt. Jellison, you served your country well. You served your country well. And Boom Burst is going to clean up shop. Thank you, Toxtricity. Once again, um, it's crazy how many battles are ended with Toxtricity. I've been surprised by that myself in this stream. Toxtricity is not like doing damage and then going down. It is staying around, and it is the first one on the field, and it is the last one on the field. Well done. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked seeing G-Max Toxtricity on the VGC ladder, please consider giving a like, a comment, a subscribe to my channel. I'd love to hit 100 so I could at least customize my URL. Um, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, again, I post all kinds of creative Pokemon content. Um, and this week, I'm actually going to be streaming uh, Mystery Dungeon DX uh, since the quarantine is happening. Um, I'm probably not going to post, like, Let's Play episodes like you typically see, but I might post, like, some boss battles, and I'm going to stream it, so you'll always be able to watch the full stream if you're really looking for specific things in the, in the playthrough. Uh, you'll be able to watch that and tune in with that. Uh, so, yeah, if that interests you, join along. Um, follow along. Join 
the channel. Uh, and if not, I'm always posting competitive Pokemon. That's really my bread and butter. Uh, and I'd love to hear what suggestions you have for teams, because uh, I just love trying out different stuff. Hence Toxtricity. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and uh, have a good day. Bye!